cell cycle is one of the most breathtaking processes that helps the cell to not only grow but also divide. We know that a cell cycle has two major phases. One helps in the preparation of the cell for the division. Can you name the preparatory phase of the cell cycle? That's the right answer. It's called the interphase. And moving to the other phase, it carries out the scission of the cell. And what is that phase called? Correct. It's the M phase where M stands for either mitosis or meiosis. And how does the cell decide whether to undergo mitosis or meiosis? Well, that depends on various factors and the type of cell undergoing division. Keep your eyes glued to the video to spot the differences between mitosis and meiosis. Let me help you with the first difference between the two processes. Mitosis occurs in somatic or body cells, while meiosis occurs exclusively in the reproductive cells. That means mitosis, occurring irrespective of whether the individual is a male or a female, gives rise to somatic cells which are exact copies of the parent cells. On the other hand, meiosis occurs in males and females, giving rise to haploid sperm and egg cells respectively. The process of meiosis, however, has different names in both the sexes. Yes, due to the different cells produced as an end result, meiosis is also referred to as oogenesis, that is the process of ovum production in females, and spermatogenesis, that is the sperm production process in males. Another major difference is that mitosis is used as a mode of asexual reproduction in lower organisms, while meiosis helps in forming gametes for sexual reproduction. Now, let's move ahead with the next difference. Have a look at these images. Observing this image, we can easily notice the most basic differences between the two. Let's begin noting down each difference individually. The first on the list is that mitosis has only one cell division, while meiosis involves two successive cell divisions. That simply means mitosis is a single-step division, while meiosis is a two-step division. And this results in meiosis having two phases, namely meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Can you note down the second difference in the list? Correct. Mitosis produces two daughter cells, while meiosis produces four daughter cells. And is there something remarkable that we haven't discussed yet? That's right. Now let's move on to the next major difference. This difference is based on the chromosomal number of the daughter cells. In mitosis, the daughter cells are deployed with two sets of chromosomes, just like the parent cell, while during meiosis, the daughter cells produced are haploid with only one set of chromosome. These daughter cells are called gametes, have exactly half the number of chromosomes from the parent cells. The former difference also gives cue about one more difference between the two. What could that be? Well, the image clearly depicts that all the four daughter cells produced by meiosis are genetically different from each other, while the two daughter cells that are produced by mitosis are genetically similar to each other. Now let's move on to the next difference. But before that, can you tell me how many stages of division does the mitosis process have? Correct, it has four stages of division. And is it the same for meiosis as well? The answer is a definite no. Since meiosis involves two rounds of division, that is, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, the process has a total of eight stages of division. Now, moving on to the next difference, this point has been studied by us in the lower grades as well. We have studied that mitosis occurs in all organisms except viruses. And which organisms can have meiosis? Meiosis occurs only in plants animals and fungi. Now, let's dive deeper and compare the stages of mitosis and meiosis to explore some more differences between them. The first stage of meiosis 1, that is prophase 1, is very long, consisting of five substages. On the other hand, 
prophase of mitosis is comparatively shorter than prophase 1. Crossing over does not occur in prophase while definitely occurs in prophase 1. Independent assortment is technically absent in the metaphase of mitosis while it occurs in metaphase 1. The separation of chromatids takes place during anaphase and on the other hand, the separation of homologous chromosomes takes place during anaphase 1 and the separation of sister chromatids during anaphase 2. So, these were the major differences between mitosis and meiosis. Let's summarize them in a single table. Before signing off, tell me one thing. Have you ever wondered what important tasks do these two processes perform in our body? Well, mitosis helps in the healing and repairing of the cells and tissues of our body. It's also responsible for the growth and the development of the body. Meiosis, however, helps exclusively in producing gametes. This ensures genetic diversity. And with this, we come to an end of the concept of cell cycle. To learn some more cool concepts related to cell processes, do keep surfing on the waves of cell biology. Happy learning! <laughs>